research group, really. A group of year 13 students. We like to think we're innovators. We actually sit next to each other at work and we both work at Fish and Paykel Healthcare. We are a couple. We work really well as a team. MIGO is um, a project where we're developing mood-aware technology. Mood is very, very complex. We've bitten off a really big project here. Um, our technology is brand new. It's based on laser spectroscopy. It's calibrated for life. It will last forever. The product sends a pulse of uh, radio wave into the body. The reflections we get back from that are processed. How do we turn this device from this big, expensive, lab-based um, equipment into something small and usable. We figured we could actually start to get a foot measurement out of the shoe itself. So welcome along to boot camp. How are you all feeling? Today is a good chance to settle into this, to this opportunity. We appreciate the people in the room here. When I got the news, I was walking down the road, literally jumping for joy. Yeah, we're a little bit overwhelmed. We know that we've got a huge mountain to climb over the next few months. This is a unique opportunity for us to validate our, our technology. It's a great honour to be chosen and to, to have gotten this far. We knew exactly what we wanted it to do, but we didn't know how to achieve that. And so at boot camp, we got to speak to a whole load of people with the relevant skills, and we got to break down into steps exactly what we needed to do. They gave us a lot of insight into the different parts and different fields of technology that they have deep expertise in. Some big brains is what I call them. It was comforting to know that there were people out there with the expertise that we could call upon. It was just like a mental explosion. Like They, they came in with these ideas. They've opened up their Rolodex of, of, of excellent contacts around New Zealand. We walked away thinking this is what we need to do. We need to talk to the users, figure out what they need. Stop thinking about the technological problems. Focus on the user invaluable information on prototyping and, and taking it out there to the customer and giving their feedback. You know, we're both software developers. Like they really pushed us to get someone with a different area of expertise. And so we put the word out through our Callahan buddy uh, for someone who had experience in machine learning. Immediately my inbox was full of about 10 people requesting to be involved. We identified a couple of skill gaps in our team and we've brought a couple of different guys on. We're only limited by our creativity and who we can partner with. The biggest challenge has been time for the three of us who all work full-time jobs. And following on from that really, the technical challenge is incredibly difficult. Family time is precious and so we've had to juggle our work commitments and family commitments and fit the project in as well. Being part of the C Prize has really just lit a fire under our ass to, to get this project moving. Fire behind us, you know, it's, it's making us uh, go much faster than we normally would. We've proven beyond a doubt that there's a strong need. The effect of what that is actually going to have um, on those end users is, is just really, really positive. So if we can help one or more of these uh, young people that couldn't access help before, then it's a good thing. Rather than just uh, determining fall risk, we might also be able to determine whether someone's sick or whether someone needs to go see a doctor, that kind of thing. I've learnt how to turn an idea into a reality. I think for us being able to have this real world problem and then see that what we're doing is kind of feeding into a solution for that, I think that's probably where the most value for us lies. The Sea Prize has sort of opened my eyes in a big way with your experts here as to what you actually need to push to the end user to get them to fall in love with your product. The Sea Prize has kind of connected us to the outside world. Uh, I was in the rest home. <laughs> Nick had been proposed to from one of the 90-year-old uh, um, ladies. It was, yeah. it was fantastic. I, I thought that it was, was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Quite an exciting and scary process and a lot of pressure at the last minute, but uh, I'm, I'm feeling confident. I feel proud. I feel freaking proud of this team. I'm exhausted. We put so much into this. Yeah. Did we nail it? We totally nailed it. Yeah. 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 Oh, fantastic team effort. The prototype worked, the live demo worked, and we were able to tell everything I think that we wanted to. I think we're going to go for a couple of beers now. A beer. Beer, definitely. <laughs> Cold beer. Well, not, not beer. <laughs> Ginger beer, yeah. yeah. The people I've met will help uh, whether this project succeeds or not. We're going to want to continue on with this idea. I, I've got the saying that I love, no pressure, no diamonds, and that totally applies here. It's like this has been extreme pressure, but now we've made a diamond and I'm so proud of it. <laughs> <laughs>